So I wanted to answer the question, what is a mycoplasma? Okay, a mycoplasma. Myco uh, coming from the word fungi and plasma coming from the word just basically like a plasma because these small microorganisms do not have a cell wall. They look like a little jellyfish. So they're the smallest free living bacteria. And uh, you see these uh, little creatures involved in a lot of autoimmune conditions, rheumatoid arthritis, MS, Crohn's, but they're very stealth. There's many different types. There's like 200, but there's really only five that are pathogenic that actually create pathogens. And they can just go in the body and just hang out for up to 10 to even 30 years and wait until you get older, you get stressed, where there's a lower resistance and you become more susceptible and then they come out. And what happens is they don't actually create the damage. Your immune system tries to kill them and because they're, they're very uh, mobile, because they don't have a cell wall, they're very hard to detect. They can go uh, throughout the cells and the different parts of the body, they can move. And so your immune system starts to attack them and it's your own immune system that creates the inflammation that creates the destruction. Thus the autoimmune, right? Where you're, it's a self attack. Um, why is the body doing that? Well, it could be because it's trying to kill something. Your body's not stupid. Why would it actually, try to attack its own cells. Well, it's trying to get something and try to destroy it and dismantle it. And in the process, it ends up destroying your cells. And a really good remedy would be something called cat's claw. This is a great antioxidant slash anti-inflammatory, really good for the immune system and like an antimicrobial uh, remedy, it's natural. So the goal is to try to build up our defenses with natural things and not go the antibiotic route because that actually kills uh, the good and the bad at the same time, wiping out your defenses. I'm not saying not to take antibiotics. I'm just pointing out that these are natural things that you might want to research to, to see if it can help you. So we have the cat's claw. We have olive leaf extract, a very great remedy for mycoplasmas, good to put viruses back in remission. It's a great natural antibiotic and it's great for the flu as well. Colostrum is a natural substance that helps build up your immune system. So let's say, for example, that you had a lot of antibiotics and now you're antibiotic resistant and your immune system has crashed and maybe you took steroids before or prednisone for some condition and now you just, you just don't have an immune system anymore. Colostrum is a great thing to take small amounts before bed over a long period of time to build up the immune system. It's a very good remedy. And then we have something called fasting. I have a lot of data on this. I put some links down below, but fasting, if done correctly and prolonged fasting, could put your body in a state of what's called autophagy. And autophagy is the recycling of old damaged protein structures into new proteins. But it also does this very interesting thing. It actually helps to clean up uh, residue of old uh, infection and microbes and viruses and mycoplasma and candida and yeast and fungus and mold. So fasting is very, very good for the immune system, especially prolonged fasting. But you have to do it at least for 18 hours to, to see some benefits. But this is something that's very, very cool for the immune system. All right, well, thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.